Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about some of the operations on string and then some of the functions, predefined functions provided by SAP, uh, which would help you to uh, do some operation on string. For example, determining the length of a string and then splitting the string, uh, translating the string, something like that. So we will just look into it one by one. So coming to the pending stuff. So we'll try to finish this one today. And then if possible, we'll try to finish this as well. Now, before this, uh, I'll also uh, try to explain the concept here, the concept of number range. So in SAP, I mean this, normally this concept belongs mostly to the functional consultant, but still even we should also be aware of it. So in SAP, what happens? Uh, for example, you are creating a sales order or you are creating an invoice or you are creating a delivery document or maybe a material number, a vendor number, customer number, anything. So for everything to be, I mean, uh, to generate a number, let's say a sales document number, for example, in this case, In this case, you'll see some of the sales document number. So there are two options of doing this. One is SAP would determine the number automatically in backend or you provide a number to SAP every time when you create a sales order. Now, providing a sales order number every time could be a difficult process, but if you are providing it, then it would be an external number range. Now, if you want SAP to provide the or uh, maybe suggest a number every time, then we will call it internal number range. So number ranges are controlled by a transaction called SNRO. SNRO. In that, we will be having some number range objects. So you can see so many number range objects here. Let's try to find out the one related to order. Yeah, so for example, we have this here, billing document, FKKI, we will we'll go inside this. Nothing is maintained here. Let's see if anything with C or Y. Yeah, so you can see here that we have the documents number assigned from 1 to 99999 and the current number is 530 which means whenever the SAP would go and hit this number range so it will see that which number is currently being used. So the current number is 530. So next would be 531. That would be proposed by SAP. The other concept here is that to fetch the next number, there is a function module, standard function module. Number get next. Using this function module, 
SAP would go in the system, provide the number range object, number range object here. So you can see the next number is 531. So as I said earlier, here we had the current number as 530. So next would be 531. Similarly, now the other thing which you'll see that current number is 540 now here, which means the next 10 numbers are now stored in the buffer. So SAP keeps those numbers in the buffer so that the retrieval of the number would be faster. And even if you go in the function module also, at some point of time, you'll see that SAP is calling the kernel to get the data from the buffer. So this is the concept of number range. T code is SNRO. Function module is number get next and mostly used by the functional guys. The benefit of having a number range is that if you want to restrict that in this year, my uh, invoice numbers would start from this or my I will be generating only 10 lakh invoices this year, something like that. So you can do a restriction here. The other thing which you can do here is whenever uh, there is a, uh, I would say, for example, we are uh, giving a range of 10 lakhs uh, number ranges in one year. And then you, you see that there is only 5% or something uh, number range is left. So you can set a warning message there. So using that warning, SAP would trigger an email mentioning so you can see 10 numbers will be kept in buffer as you uh, saw earlier uh, it was 530 then suddenly it became 540 so 10 numbers would lie in buffer and then when the 10 percent number are left 10 percent number ranges are left then it would trigger an email obviously that is something you need to configure so that you can receive an email so this is how we deal with the concept of number ranges in SAP. so i hope you are clear on this so remove it now Let's talk about these two things today. So operations on string. So it's basically uh, concatenate is one, split, translate, split, translate, and then what else we can? So one second. Just let me copy paste it from other. So we will see these things one by one quickly and then we will move to the next step. So now what I can do here, I can comment this one. So here we are, we will be declaring some of the local variables. I am not going to the top include now. Then we will declare some local variables which will be valid only between this form and end form. who don't know about string it's basically a data type which can hold any kind of data it's already having a predefined length
something like this so we have four strings here now let's say I assign some random value to my lb underscore str1 equal to let's say rb something like this the first operation which I'm going to try here is translate translate lb underscore str1 to uppercase and then what I'm going to do here is I'm using a statement called move so move lb str one to lb underscore str2 so we could have done like this also but then I mean lb str2 equal to lb str1 but move is basically forcefully moving a variable so you should be aware of this concept as well so now the synthesis is changed to uppercase so uppercase will be moving here I am translating it to a lowercase now translate lb str2 to lowercase Right. So now let's see what happens. You can see that LBSTR1 was translated to uppercase, LBSTR2 was translated to lowercase. So this is the first operation which we do. The second operation is split. So split lb underscore str12 so split lb str1 so we need to tell the system that on which character you want to split something should be like some unique thing on which it can easily split for example this if you give dot then it will dis, uh, break it on the first dot so I'm giving let's say ampersand split this at at the rate not ampersand sorry it's at the rate so single quotes split this string at at the rate into lbhdr1 now once you write it you can clear We are breaking it on this. So you can see that this one is my one string, this one is my one string. LVSTR1, LVSTR2. So this is called split. Now next would be concatenate, means we are merging two strings. Concatenate, LV underscore STR1, STR2 into lv underscore str let's say we concatenating it back into lv str1 itself separated by so it's simple english you can also understand what's going to happen now we will get the complete email id again called concatenate which means merging two variables now for example what I am doing here is instead of making 
it at the rate what I'm doing by space. So you can see we have a space here. Next, what I can do? Condense. Condense LB str1 no gaps. So it will just condense it without it will remove any gaps in between. So the gap is gone now. So these are some of the simple operations. What else is pending? Okay, translate is pending. Translate is done. Condense is done. Split is done. Translates. String length. Okay. Now sometimes what happens? You want to know that what is the length of your string. So for example, we'll talk about it. LBSTR1. So the length would be measured in a variable of type i. To move the length of the string into lv underscore lvn so the function for is uh, measuring the length is str lvn and then give the string name lv underscore str1 can see this now. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So twenty. So this is the length of my string. So these are some of the operations. Let me just check if I left with any other operation. So I'm left with one more called replace. So for example, um, Output is dot dot. So I want to change all these dots to in you know, some other thing. Let's say ampersand. So what you can do? Replace all occurrences of dot in lv underscore str. all the dots with m percent so you can see that the dot is changed to m percent now so it's pretty simple English and then SAP has made it very very convenient so these are some of the operations on string the other thing which we normally do is basically by comparing two strings so for example uh, I have downloaded a link basically I try to show you that link instead of writing it here 